start a research task on warranties and indemnities. So let me just explain these clips a bit. So this is the presentation that I was working on for warranties and indemnities and just sort of researching that. So this is the office that I was in. Uh, I shared the first two days and the last day I had it to myself. And then this made me laugh so much. They had a dartboard with like Piers Morgan, Donald Trump's faces on it. Um, and I was like, I don't even want to know what goes down. This is the view from the building. And then this is the view from my office. And you can literally see the top of St. Paul's Cathedral in the distance, which I thought was awesome. So I'm absolutely shattered, I've just got into the room. Sod's law that on like the hottest day in London, when I hit rush hour, it takes me like 45 minutes just to get like slightly across London, get to my hotel and it's on the fourth floor, no lifts. Ooh, love that, lugging my case all the way up. But so for a recap of kind of what went down today, when I got there, I kind of met the HR team, which is who I've been liaising with, uh, working as a brand ambassador at BCLP. So they came down kind of, did the handover of putting me in contact with the actual department. Then um, Liz Wong came down from the mergers and acquisitions and corporate finance department, which is where I am this week. So um, yeah, I met her incredibly lovely. Like she's so, so friendly, really like, makes you feel really comfortable, even though you've known her like 12 seconds. So really, really appreciated that. Went up, kind of, she showed me around the offices, met the team, basically got plunked into the office, as you saw. Uh, and then kind of did tasks, so she sent me a few tasks over and, and then she got an email about just after lunch doing for asking about pro bono, so she kind of handed that over to me and it was just kind of about what happens to charity assets if the charity is going to be dissolved. So I had the, the task of researching that for about an hour and then kind of finished at about half five, got back for about six. Now I'm just going to go and get some dinner. I'm starving. So I'm up now, um, it's like seven-ish now. I've just been finishing off some work for the pro bono thing. Uh, yeah, so I'm just sort of sitting in bed researching about this charity asset stuff. <laughs> Love it when the partner pays for coffee. Day three. I've actually got the office to myself. So I'm in my second hotel of the week and can I just point out this reminds me of American Horror Story too much. You see what I mean? If I get murdered. Fair. I swear this is the most travel lodge travel lodge I've actually ever been in. Like I know it probably makes no sense but it is literally like straight out of the brochures. It makes me laugh. So I'm filming this on my phone. Um, I kind of wanted to end the video and kind of just say like, I know the last two days I haven't really mentioned what I've done. So I thought I'd go over it because there are a lot of things I was doing for actual clients that I obviously couldn't share for confidentiality reasons. So yesterday, Tuesday, basically the night before I'd been given um, that sort of research task about the charity's assets that I had to do. So I did a bit sort of overnight uh, in the morning. And then when I came into obviously BCLP in the morning, so I finished that off. And then I went to the trainee that I was sort of working on that with. And then she was like, okay, so can you actually write this up into like a research sort of document for um, the other sort of lawyer that's working on it so they can then 
use that to then inform the client. So I wrote that up. That was that took probably like half an hour. And then an associate came in pretty much like five minutes just before I finished that task. She came in and she was like, okay, there's a deal. Everybody's pretty much working on it. I had two partners working on it, which means it's quite big. But yeah, she was like, it goes live at midnight. Can you proofread it for me? She brings it in, it's this like fat ass document. So basically I spent most of the morning proofreading that, uh, which is actually really interesting. Although it might seem a bit dry to, you know, go through and read a hundred pages of what uh, one of the lawyers there called legal bullshit. Um, but to read over the takeover document is actually really interesting and you sort of learn bits and how they draft it and how they all slot in and things like that. Um, so yeah, that was, then I was like training over lunch, which means free lunch. But then after that, um, I basically finished off the last 10 pages I had of that proofreading task. And then I had a meeting with Michael, who's like works with graduate recruitment. He's also a partner there. And basically I went for coffee with him. And he was honestly one of the nicest people. The fact that he took time out, like he literally took 40 minutes out of his day to sit and have coffee with me and tell me his experience of 30 years at the firm and what he thinks and etc., was really invaluable. Then straight after that, I had a meeting with the trainee that was sort of like looking after me that week, uh, Liz. And then we went and got another coffee. So I was very coffeeed out, um, but pretty much that took us to like 5.30 and they are always like, go home, go home while you can, because they stay till like eight or whatever on a good day. Um, so they're always just like, go, go while you can. Uh, so that was yesterday. So today I got given a research task and that was on scheme of arrangements, which is quite interesting to learn about. And then um, one of the guys kind of came in that I'd met the a few days before and was like, oh yeah, that deal, like just basically came in for a chat. And basically the document I was working on the day before, like proofreading it, obviously that went live overnight. And he was just saying like how it went down. And cause it's like a public thing, you basically can go on the website and read it. He was like saying like what people were thinking of it and what like the perceptions being. And he was like, oh yeah, there's such and such documents to follow. I'll go and get them for you. You can read them if you want and you can see how they all slot together. And you can see the mechanics of sort of how like a takeover um, offer goes down. So that was really great. And it's like, I can't stress it enough that even though I was there for three days, obviously I have brand ambassador for the firm for a year. So I've worked with a lot of people from that firm over a long period of time. And it's like, people just go out of their way to be nice and to help and to allow you to learn. And I just really, really, really value that there. So basically, and then after that, one of the lawyers came up to me and she was like, okay, so I've been on this new deal and it's from the oil and gas industry and I don't know anything about it. So I need your help. And I'm like, what makes you think I know anything about it? I'm not the person to come to with this. Basically, she just wanted me to make up like, I guess like a oil and gas industry document for dummies of like all the stuff that's happening in the industry at the moment, like a list of acronyms and the meanings um, and just like any key things uh, that are going down so that when she sits in the meetings that she kind of knows what's going on. It's a shame that I'm only there for three days as well because she was like, oh, if you do this for me, like you can come to the meeting tomorrow. And I was like, I'm not there tomorrow, um, but they literally, she's just like, you can come to the meeting. And then straight after that, she was like, yeah, the meeting on Monday, it started at three, finished at one in the morning. And I was like, maybe I don't want to go to the meeting. <laughs> yeah, and then it was lunch. And then after that, I got to sit in AGM, which was, they all think it's really boring, but to me, it's really interesting. Um, so obviously met another partner and sort of sat in on the AGM for this company and then got to, you know, listen in on all the voting and stuff that happened and then afterwards kind of sit with um, the team and see how they basically tell the company like all the legal stuff and how they figure out like the share prices and what the votes mean and stuff like that. So it was kind of a new side of law that I hadn't um, experienced and it was really interesting. And then after that, it was more researchy stuff to do. And then that was pretty much, that concluded my time there. It went so fast and I feel like I've done and learned about such a variety of things not only law, but just how like the firm functions and just the inner workings of a, a city law firm and a business environment as well. And honestly, it's been so invaluable and I've really enjoyed it. I went into this placement thinking, okay, like I have my plans, I know what I want to do and it was not law. And I kind of just did it as like, a, well, I've BA'd here for a year, let's just see the other side. Like I've seen HR a lot, let's see the actual law side of what this company does and just sort of go in open-mindedly. BCLP, I could not rave about them enough. You know, I've worked with them obviously for like a year now and they've been really, really great for that whole time. Or like HR to the actual lawyers and the team. And it's just, the best way I can put it is it's like, 
you know, like when I first sort of started working with the firm, um, the HR were like, oh yeah, we're known for being the friendly firm. And I was like, mm, yeah, but don't they all say that? Like, don't they all just try and sell you on the firm, right? But literally they are the friendliest people and the nicest and they make time for you and they really want you to do well and learn and be in a, an environment that suits you. And I just really love that. Like literally people from the cleaners to the reception staff to lawyers to HR, everybody there in that building, just like the nicest bunch. And yeah, now I don't know what I'm going to do with my life. Um, I'm going to have to do way more research into actually, it's just weird thinking that I'm going to probably do law after two years of being like, no law, no law for me. Yeah, but they've completely flipped my mind on wanting to pursue law as a career. So yeah, um, that's where I'm at currently. So yeah, summary is I would recommend them to anyone that's pursuing law and to definitely look into them. And if they do the type of law that you're interested in, definitely apply for like a back scheme or to be the brand ambassador or a training contract and, and yeah, and see where it takes you. So I guess this concludes my video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and find it kind of interesting to, to see like what a mini placement is like um, at a city law firm. I can film quite a lot. So I feel like this is more insightful than maybe other videos like Slaughter and May or Clifford Chance and stuff that I've done. So I really hope it's beneficial. Yeah, um, I'm gonna have dinner now and probably tuck in to a fat burger or pizza because I just feel like I'm in that mood. So that's me, that's my night. Yep, and um, yeah, so I'll see you next week. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. <laughs>